Hello everyone and welcome once again to my kitchen. This is Mage Engage, where my aim is to introduce you, the Magenta community, to you, the Magenta community. This week, I'm joined by Sander. Hi Sander, thanks for joining me. Hi David. Cool. Let me just, first of all, did I pronounce your name right? You did. Yes. Actually, there's a really cool website you can go <laughs> on, which I need to launch a second version of because uh -huh. I'm getting tons of emails of that my name is not on there. I know I'm working on it, yeah. um, but you can listen to the pronunciation there. Nice, nice. Okay, well, uh, thank you for joining me. I, uh, I feel like this is going to be a good interview, but before we get into it, how about you tell us something about yourself? So, I'm Sander, I'm 28 years old. Um, I've been working with Magento for about four, four and a half years, I think. Uh, started off at a, at a small company in Rotterdam and then uh, moved on to Utrecht, where I'm working right now, uh, on mainly um, business-to-consumer websites. A mm -hmm. uh, lot of fun. Okay, cool. Um, and you help, well, you organized the Mage Stack Day? I did. Together and, with Anna. Yes, with Anna. And you also are organizing the Meet Magento in Netherlands with Peter and... Uh, Guido. Guido, yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well, that's all fun and interesting, but that's not why I've got you here. What I've got you here to talk about is the, your passion for cooking. Yeah. Um, so let's start from the beginning. Um, how did you get into cooking? Um, I started out as a... Um, dishwasher at mm -hmm. a local restaurant um, back in the town where I lived uh, for a summer job and one morning we got in uh, to start the shift and uh, the owner came down and he was like uh, the cook we used to have he went back to his family in Turkey and we don't have a cook right now so you guys are gonna be the cooks uh, and it was just us two dishwashers so um, quite interesting uh, yes. It was on a Saturday, so quite a busy shift, oh. um, and that's, I guess, basically how I learned to cook. It was basic stuff, like uh, okay. a steak or something like that, Not, nothing mm -hmm. that fancy, but quite interesting, and I actually liked it, so when we got another cook, um, mm -hmm. I became, how would you call it, like a sous chef, but it was mm -hmm. kind of a shady restaurant, so it wasn't that glamorous, uh, but he, he taught me how to cook, like uh -huh. like uh, real horka cooking, I guess. And then I moved on to a couple of other restaurants, and uh, from there on, I actually um, joined the college for for uh, cooking, I guess, or okay. horka in general. Uh, but then I found out that it's mainly rules about hygienics and not really mm -hmm. about cooking. So quit that, but uh, always stayed with the cooking at least at home. Cool. So yeah, pretty good. Nice. So a uh, horrific first experience didn't put you off. No, no, exactly. Nice. Cool. Um, okay. Uh, so do you have a special or favorite um, type of cuisine you like to cook? Um, I think I really like Asian food, like mm -hmm. noodles, rice, stuff like that. Um, and anything with meat, I guess. I, I try to cook healthy. Okay. Yeah. Like, okay. um, uh, get get fresh produce and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't always work out like that, but uh, it's it's fun to cook. So I, I really enjoy doing it. Nice, nice. Um, and do you have one special dish? You said you like Asian sort of food. Um, what's your favorite um, dish? I guess I do a lot of walking. Just get mm -hmm. some vegetables, some meat, and then uh, throw in some rice or noodles. Okay. Um, and you know the Vietnamese pho soup, right? I gave you a recipe once. You did. You did I haven't the, tried it. Yeah, you know, I guess so. But it's, it, it takes a long time, doesn't it? Yeah, it takes like five hours, but it, it's the best you ever had. It's really okay. So uh, I Yeah, guess maybe I'll one. try. Okay, cool. Um, and you said you, you like to get your fresh ingredients. So do you have a specific market or a, a provider that you go to? Uh, a couple actually. We have a big market here in Rotterdam uh, where mm -hmm. I like to go to, uh, especially during the summer. Mm -hmm. Nice weather, go outside, go to the market, get your uh, products. And then we have a couple of big uh, like Asian stores where you can get mm -hmm. all, all kinds of weird stuff. 
Actually, when okay. I go there, I'll, I'll get the stuff I need and then always try to get at least like one weird thing. I don't know what it is. Like okay. 9 out of 10 times it's disgusting, but then sometimes you <laughs> find something really cool. Okay, that's cool. That's a really good tip. Yeah. To, to try, try, just try one new thing every time. Yeah, the labels are all Asian, so you don't know what you're getting anyway, and just try it. Yeah. It's pure luck if you get something good. Yeah, ex exactly. Nice. Okay, so you take a lot of time when it comes to finding the right ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, do you then like to pair what you are drinking with what you are eating? Uh, I do. Uh, I really like wine. So uh, during the weekends, oh. yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so during the weekends, uh, I have a, a wine merchant nearby here. Uh, he's, he's great with wine, and I'll I'll stroll in and I'll tell him what I'm cooking, and he'll be like, "Oh, you have to have this or that," or and he has some fancy wine he picked up in Italy, and uh, it, it's nice. great. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So it sounds like uh, you're very passionate about. Uh, you're getting the right ingredients and making sure that the whole experience when you're cooking is correct yep. and nice and you know okay so for a short moment imagine that I am your type right it sh shouldn't be that hard no, mean, for, you know. no of course not, baby. <laughs> um, and you've got me over it's the first you know cooking dinner mm -hmm. what do you cook for me What's that dish? What's the dish that well, allows First, of course, I would lit the candles, put on some berry white, of course. Yeah. Uh, of course. And then proceed to make uh, probably a pistachio pesto pasta. It's okay, like cool. pistachio nuts with basil and some uh, parmesan cheese. And you make mm -hmm. it into a pesto. It's, it's handy because you can do it like beforehand, so you don't have to... Do it. You don't have to leave your date. Exactly. And just put on some pasta and, and you're done. And it's, it's great. It's delicious. Okay. I'm looking forward to it already. Of course. So you've been, you've got the right wine. It's, you don't have to leave me that often. <laughs> it sounds perfect. I'm looking forward to it. If your wife's okay. going to hear this, you're not coming to meet Magenta Nellant, right? <laughs> She's not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, we'll move off, off that topic and we'll get on something. So, uh, I like to cook mm -hmm. sometimes when I can be bothered, um, uh, but I don't think I'm that great a cook. So, do you have one tip for me to become a better cook? Stick to recipes. I always okay. get recipes. Like, I know a couple of dishes mm -hmm. I don't need a recipe for, but just get a recipe. It's, it's easy, it's, you can't miss, and keep it simple. Um, mm -hmm. So you can have a great dish out of five ingredients. Uh, don't go with too elaborate or whatever, and just get some fresh uh, products. That's, okay. that's basically it, I guess. Mm -hmm. oh, that's cool. Um, is there uh, when you when you were kind of learning mm -hmm. how to cook and going through stuff, was there a specific uh, cuisine that you found easier or like a sort of area of cooking that you found easier than another? Um, in Holland you have like the bistros where you can have dinner and it's mm -hmm. like um, meat like a schnitzel or like steak and then with french mm -hmm. fries or potatoes and some salad or veggies that's like the the most okay. basic thing uh, to do so it's it's easy to mm -hmm. produce in in large volumes like uh, potato chips. It's it's easy and uh, um, yeah, that's probably the, the most quick thing I, I learned how to do. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. And uh, if anyone who's watching this is going to Holland, what is the one thing they need to eat? What do they need to try? Just one thing. Yeah, just the one, and it, it can be booze. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if you're coming to Rotterdam, you really need to get a capsulon. It's, it's. What's that? Thing is, it's food after you had too much to drink, so you kind of have to get into the mood for it. But then uh, you have like swarma kebab. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, first you start off with lettuce. Uh, they put on a on a dish. It's first lettuce, then it's swarma. Yeah or kebab, and then it's french okay. fries, and then they put like uh, way too much garlic over that, 
then there's cheese okay. and then there's like uh sambal or something like or a hot sauce it's yeah. yeah it's an acquired taste i guess but <laughs> but it's it's okay. typically oh, okay. rotterdam and then it's spread it out into the netherlands nice nice okay cool i look yeah. forward to it <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much for joining me. I think that's that's a good uh, insight into your your cooking and what thank you me. love to do. Um, so thank you for being interesting and joining me today. You're welcome. And as a short reward, uh, feel free to plug whatever you need. Plug. In Magenta Netherlands, at 27th and 28th cool. of May, and then 29th we have a hackathon. We have a great talk Ooh, about nice. uh, mistake-driven development by Dave Manners. <laughs> nice. um, be sure to come. Uh-huh. Uh, apart from myself, who is the uh, main speaker you're looking forward to hearing? Oh, that's hard. Or you can pick two. I'll let you have two. I'd probably go with Vinay. He's going to do it on module architecture. And it's like, it's great because he's talking about all these awesome things he's doing. And then afterwards, you're like, that's cool, but I've been doing it completely wrong from the start. Like it's, but it's cool. And then uh, <laughs> yeah. Ivan Chipunia. Yeah. Come on, you I need know. to be able to pronounce names. It's if wrong. you if I you know. post a website like that, you need to pronounce names. Um, I'm gonna get back to <laughs> to that. Um, <laughs> Pick someone else. No, no, Pick but he's gonna do a talk about uh, improving magenta performance, but not with varnish or like hip hop virtual machine, but then just uh, getting dirty okay. with code and, and and getting it faster. Really cool. Nice. Cool. Okay. Well, great. I will put that information in the section great. below the video, um, so people can find out tickets and information and whatever they need for the event. So. Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for having me. It's been wonderful. It's a pleasure. And thank you for watching. And join us next week for another interview. Bye. Bye.